So a trader asked how to build this out. He wanted a long signal whenever the stochastics RSI crossed above the 0.2 line here, but only when the price bar itself was completely contained between the two Bollinger Band lines. So let's build that out and see how we would do that. So here's Bloodhound. And first let's detect the Stoke RSI condition. That's pretty easy. We're actually going to use the crossover solver. So we'll get that and we'll say we're looking for when the Stoke RSI, so let's bring that up, whenever the Stoke RSI crosses above a fixed value of 0.2, that's that bottom line. So we'll plug that in, but we're only looking for long signals. Okay, we're getting a signal anytime the Stoke crosses above the 0.2 line, but we're getting too many signals. So let's add that second condition that he asked for, which is whenever the bar is fully contained within the upper and lower bands of the Bollinger. First comparison solver looks at the high price and compares that to the Bollinger upper band. And our second comparison solver is the same thing, but uh, for the lower band. And we'll connect both of those together with an AND node. So now we're getting signals on any bar where the entire bar is contained within the Bollinger Bands. Now we just need to connect that to the crossover condition originally. So here's our original crossovers. And then we'll add that second condition to filter out some signals. So we're getting a signal whenever the RSI crosses above the lower level, but only when the bar is fully contained within the Bollinger Band lines. So that's just another example from a real world customer question that we got in. If you use NinjaTrader and you're interested in learning more about Bloodhound, check us out at the link below. Uh, and check out Bloodhound. And as always, there's a free trial and unlimited support in case you have questions as you learn.